Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bukhi Akimari. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I deep clean my fridge. Now, I've never deep cleaned this fridge before. I've had it for about a year and a half before. I just did a regular cleaning, but I've never really taken everything out like this to wash and deep clean. And so today, I wanted to share a video on how I do that because I've been sharing a lot of my cleaning hacks on Instagram and I wanted to do this for YouTube. So I'll be using some white vinegar which I'm going to mix in a spray bottle. I'm going to add some water and dish soap. So equal parts of water and white vinegar and then dish soap and I'm adding this lemon essential oil so that it smells really nice. Now I'm going to spray the fridge with this mixture and then wipe. So I intend for it obviously to do the cleaning for me. You can spray it and leave it a couple of minutes, but even though I haven't deep cleaned my fridge before, it's not that filthy because we clean it regularly, but I wanted to get in the back and get to those parts where we don't really get to when we clean it like every day or every weekend, actually we clean the fridge. So I wanted to deep clean the nooks and cranny of the fridge this time and, you know, do it myself also and make sure that it's really, really clean. So I'm using a skewer and the cloth to get in the corners to take out the death. That is a super cleaning hack that I think everyone should use. So in those corners where the death hides like that you can use a toothpick or use a skewer because they they're stronger to get out the dirt just like this and then you know wipe i have that little space under my fridge and i like to go in there and clean it too of course i'm using a microfiber cloth that i have to rinse a couple of times and go back and spray and then clean again I didn't realize how tedious this process was going to be but at this point it had taken me over an hour to get here now i'm going to wash all the trays and the grates in the fridge so i've made um, warm soapy water in the sink and i'm just going to go in and wash everything with the sponge and the soapy water it actually felt therapeutic um, for me because I was just there listening to music and you know listening to my favorite nights songs and you know just washing away and at this point I wasn't really um, I didn't really mind the time that it was taking my mind was just somewhere else I was just washing and rinsing and drying and this was the therapeutic part for me What I also did was before I took out all the trays in the fridge, I made a video so that I know where everything goes because in my other fridge, I had tried to clean it like this and I couldn't remember where certain things went. So with this one, I had to make a video to see where everything went, um, you know, just before taking it out. So I know exactly where to place them. So that's a tip I have for you. If you're cleaning um, your fridge or your freezer like this, do a video first, see where everything goes and just save that. So if you get stuck when you're done cleaning and putting things back, you can um, go back to the re video and refer to it and see exactly where everything goes. So now everything is washed and dry. I'm putting the grates back in, the trays back in, and the stuff in the door and putting those back in exactly where they were before and then i'll just arrange everything back where they're supposed to be of course having cleaned them first now my eggs go in and my water goes in and i have the silicone bags that i'm going to use to put some of the things i took out in i also have the storage bowls that i just got with silicone grip so i'm going to decant the food that was in the plastic 
into those like my jollof rice my stews i'm going to use this glass container because i see people use them and they're really cute so i got myself a set and i'm going to use them to decant all those things and put them back in the fridge it just looks cute and tidy this way and it's actually practical because things you store in a glass bowl last longer Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know about my carrot hack. I've had this bag of carrots in the fridge. I'm just going to put them in this mason jar and cover it with water so that they last longer. They were already starting to go limp in that bag. So I'm just going to transfer it here. Also because I'm changing most of the things in the fridge and I want it to look really pleasing, but still practical. So here's my mint leaf that was in a plastic bag before. I've put a paper towel in this silicone bag to absorb the water and it's going to last even longer in this bag. That's the other thing with silicone bags. You should get a couple of them. If you don't already have them, they make things last longer. So yeah, there goes my carrot and my spring onions. Also in the jar, that's another hack. I typically don't store my bread in the fridge, but these breads, like the brioche and the other farmhouse bread, they last a bit longer and my kids take them to school during the week. I don't just want them to sit on the counter. I have these bins also where I'm going to put my veggies in. So my cucumbers gone in and my bell peppers are going in. And again, it's going to look really cute, but still practical. Um, you can just reach into the fridge and get what you need. I think this is really pleasing to my eyes, which is the main reason why I've done it. And then I've wrapped the cling film around my plantain if you've seen so that it doesn't go um, bad. It lasts um, a couple of days longer if you do it that way. Here goes the rest of my veggies and fruits in my um, crisper. So here's where I store my apples, things like mangoes and my lemons. They go in this, um, in the top crisper. And I've put my mint leaf in the side. And in the bottom, I'll put my peppers, my tomatoes, my fresh peppers, and tatashi. And now I'm done cleaning my fridge. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section down below. Let me know what else you'd like to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.